So the body as a child is the first step, right? Then you get into what is called the body as a wounded child, because now you're going to deal with all the traumas and all the problems that have ever been created in this lifetime. And if you're doing it right and all others, because your body stores all that information inside of it. Every time that you think isn't a big deal, but you feel a little bit about it, your body thought it was a big deal and it stored it. It said, okay, well, we're going to reference this again sometime. And it might not be this lifetime, but we will definitely get into this because you and your body had a disagreement and it's going to hold on to it until it lets it go. So the body as a wounded child is the next phase. And a lot of people call this the dark night of the soul. There's all these ascension symptoms. They're like sick. They don't like it. Most people walk away from it at that point. But if you persevere and you push through this detoxification, what happens is your body becomes an awakened child. And that's the next step of the body as a child, right? It's this awakened child, which means it is curious. It is playful. You are curious. You are playful. And you begin to play together. And when that happens, magic happens. The world becomes miracles and rainbows. Like you can't even begin to describe how awesome it is, but you have to push through the wounded child, right? Yeah. And then the final state is called the body as the divine child. And the divine child is an ascended form of the body. I'm not there yet. I've been working on it for years. It's just, I don't even know if I'll get there in this life. And that's okay. Cause it's a yeah. fun goal to have, but you have to be okay with where you are in the process. So many people want what the future holds. They want to compare themselves to some avatar who walked the earth and all these other things. And it doesn't help because that being and you are different templates. So you can't ever become this. You just can't. And that's okay because yeah. you're going to become something greater as you than this ever was. But the key is to work on you and be okay with it. And if you are going to compare yourself, which I don't recommend doing anyway, but if you are going to compare yourself to a past version of you, not some distant like deity or anything like that. Simply yourself a few months ago, yeah. if you're going to compare. But again, it doesn't really help. Yeah. Celebrate every day and forget yesterday. And when it comes up again for you to work on, work on it. 